Hey guys, how's everything going? This is Jay. So uh, in a previous video, I've said um, I've seen something I've never before met, met before. It's Resize Observer. Uh, so yeah, in this video, let's take a look. As the name implies, it is an observer um, observing the resizing of an element. Yeah. Um, why it is needed? Uh, it's I think it's for performance as the as what we cover covered before about the uh, uh, intersection observer. We actually could do the part of field by ourselves we just set an interval like every half second and then check the if the uh, size is changed right it's but it's not performing we have this interval uh, checking on the time and it is not instant uh, because there's always a delay right uh, I change it and it happen if it happens to fall out of the interval we need to wait another interval to check it out so it's not performing it's not good and uh, yeah, the browser has up for this resize of observer, which uh, let us just uh, think of it like event listener. So, uh, well, it's not event listener, uh, kind of like an event listener. When something changed, the, the resizing happens, the callback uh, we set could be run. So the syntax is very simple, um, like we did before as the, uh, uh, the media query listener and the intersection listener observer. Uh, we create a new observer, and uh, this has, uh, this is a callback. So this callback will call every time the a size uh, changed. And for the entry, we have the this information about the content box, blah blah blah, and then we do what we want, right? I change the other size stuff. Uh, let's take a look at the demo. Uh, the demo here um, is like this is the official demo here. Uh, I just copy locally. When we adjust the slider, uh, you can see the size changed because when the slider changed, uh, we set the outer container width to the slider's value. So yeah, we change the, change the width. But if you see, see the font size of the internal stuff, it is ad adapted as well, right? Right? You can see that like uh, like uh, zooming, zooming um, or, or coordinate, the font size is changing. Very cool. Uh, Let's see the code is. Yeah, it gets the uh, entry, gets the content box, sets the font size of the H1 element to content box divided by uh, 200. So uh, if the width is more than 200, I think, yeah, that they will be um, uh, enlarged uh, to the same proportion. I I'd like to talk more about this one. If you take a look at the document, it says, um, if the implementation follows the specification, uh, the callback will be invoked before paint and after layout. So recall in the event loop, we have this um, like a JavaScript function call and then styled and then layout and then paint, right? The callback is in this layout. If we change something in this step, uh, it will create, it, like it would it block the paint? Right, this is something interesting that interests me. Uh, so let's change our code a little bit. Um, first, when the callback is changed, we change when the callback is invoked, we increment the uh, width uh, like two pixel. So it means that when the layout uh, when the layout is done, we check the resize observer and found that the size of this div is changed. So we run this callback. And after we run the div, uh, increment itself to pixel. So it will like uh, in a four uh, infinite loop, right? Change itself. So you can see that it changed itself and everything works fine, but it's still pain. It looks like it's not blocked, right? Uh, yeah, it looks like it, this will be anyway deferred, uh, but that's not the case actually uh, let's do something more um, if we go to if we in this callback we change the h1 color to some random color you see okay allow me here you will be something like this right because every time the function is called uh, it will be assigned to a random color as we define um, it is still, it looks like it is not blocking, but let's create another resize observer to the H1 element, the heading. 
and in that we set the color back to black, right? And because the when when the width of the outer container change, um, the first observer the callback is run and the color is set to random, uh, but the heading we set the size of the heading element here font size, and it did change it as well. So this observer callback will be called as well, and the color will be set black, right? So let's see what happens. Hmm, you see that the color will always be be black, which means that, which means that the this one will always be run before uh, before the pane. Yeah. So there's a paradox here. Uh, if it is not, if this will be this, if this callback will always be run, then the changes we made here, it should trigger, um, it should trigger the uh, the the callback to be infinite loop, right? So blocking the paint, but it doesn't block actually. Um, yeah, if we reload, it's always black, but it's still you see that it it uh, enlarge itself. So why? Yeah, actually, it's this is something internally the browser did for us, uh, because uh, this case is already can be considered. It's called um, an infinite loop issue, I guess. Infinite loop. Yeah, you see, the infinite loop is prevented by shrinking the reset of nodes that can notify at every iteration. In each iteration, only nodes deeper then the shadowiest node in the previous iteration can notify, uh, notify, which means that uh, in our code here, when we set the uh, recite observer, when this first is changed, and this is changed, right? And this one is changed, so this out container is the shadowiest node. So in this func, this callback it is called, and then. You set it again. Uh, the process of the resize. Let's go to the bottom. I think there is a function. So, yeah, this is exactly how the uh, uh, resize observer uh, is working. Say, it uh, is between the layout and paint between step two and three of the event loop. So yeah, uh, in details you will be yeah re calculating the styles, update the layout, and then for the uh, this is for the resize observer, set depth to zero, gather active observation at depths for documents, so checking if anything changes, and it will repeat with the right document has active, active observation, which means has something has changed, and it will set the depths to it, and uh, recalculate style, and uh, update the layout, and check it again. So this will be a, a repeated process. Oh, where, where is it? Okay. Repeated process. When you repeat it, it will be actually uh, possible to infinite loop. But as I said, in the process of uh, gather active observation, observation, it will uh, where is it? The yeah, depth. It says if target depth is greater than the depth, then add the observation to target. So when this callback is run, this one dev is the Shadow is the element, so this will be run. Cool. And when it is changed, uh, the size changed, right? So it will calculate it again. But when it calculated it again, itself is not, it, it, it's the same depth. So it will not be notified. It will schedule, it will be put, delayed to the second run iteration. So it will not be run. Uh, but speaking of why H1 could, could set it to black, it, it's because um, this H1 is within this uh, uh, div, so it's deeper than this div, so it will be run. So run this one, and the size change, right? And then it will run this one, like like something dirty check in the in the uh, anger or something. I remember it will just check the data if it's dirty, uh, or uh, if it's dirty, and then when it's done, it will flush. Uh, but here we just uh, uh, we don't do. Uh, the iteration on the same or same same note. 
So yeah, because each one is deeper, so this will be run. So that's why it will always be black. Um, yeah, that's yeah, it will always be black. Cool. Maybe we could do something better. Uh, let's. I think we could add a, uh, a something. Uh, where is it? Uh, where? Which one is it? Ah, yeah, yeah. We, we. I don't. I can think of another great example for this one. Um, yeah, but I think it explains pretty well. Yeah. So, uh, you don't need to worry about this infinitive stuff. The brother would, the brother would do do it for us, and uh, yeah. And for this size observer, it has observe function and also unobserve. Um, yeah. To, to to if we're done with it, we just uh, uh clear all the stuff. Cool. Um, hope it helps. Uh, see you next time. Bye bye.